now we have created vectors and obviously we would like to plot the content of these vectors. So let's do an example. Let's just plot a sine wave. So let's create an x vector with just um, different values starting at 0 and then let's create a step width of 0 0.1 and run this to 4 times pi. And so pi is already predefined. That's our pi here. So that's our end point in the vector. That's our start value. And this is the step width. Step width. So now we know we can process all these elements by using the sine function. So, and they are all processed at the same time, element by element. Element by. Yeah, so in order to plot this, now we just write plot x, comma, y. They have to have the same length. And then there's, um, there's taking one element from here and one element from there, plotting it, and so on and so on. So let's do that. So x, 0, 0 0.1, 4 times pi. Let's check that our x vector is filled with values. That's the case. So then let me just calculate all all the resulting sine values just with this one single command. That's the power of MATLAB or any matrix manipulation language. And then we just write plot x comma y. And, and then we are getting a beautiful sine wave.